Good morning. Yeah, hi. Good evening and let's go ahead. It's indeed my proud privilege to welcome you all today from 10 cities and 11 web worlds to a live on-demand video seminar on knowledge management. Uh, Reliance Webworld, as most of you may not be knowing, has 240 outlets in 105 cities, all connected on optical fiber for broadband with state-of-the-art facilities for video conferencing. Uh, to leverage this unique uh, infrastructure, which we have on a pan-India basis, we have launched e-learning at Webworlds as a key initiative for this year. And we already have uh, live virtual classrooms as well as self-paced online courseware available on e-learning across all our web worlds. Before this seminar, we already bring management courses using a virtual classroom format uh, from Xavier's Institute of Management, Bhuvneshwar, from XLRI, Jamshedpur, and soon from some of the Institute of Management. But today is the first time that we bring professional knowledge management education to India. And also it's the first time that we have a live and interactive program from USA to India on a video platform. We are also proud that this is being done in association with the International KM Institute in Washington, USA. Uh, with these few words, uh, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the founder and chairman of uh, International KM Institute, Mr. Douglas Widener, to demystify KM for us. Thank you. Thank you very much for the introduction. And it's a pleasure to present to all of you this evening the subject of Demystify KM. Momentarily, you're going to see the slides on the screen, I believe. Um, yes, there it is. Um, this is a new experience for myself as well as probably all of you. I did it once as a test when I was in India, but uh, this is the first time we've really gone live with it. So it'll be a learning experience for both of us, certainly for me. Uh, one of the objectives of knowledge management, and particularly of um, learning, is to have it be interactive, as Mr. Chowdhury said. Um, I'm not sure yet how to do that with this medium. I know it's possible, but we'll uh, have some learning steps, I think, to make this as interactive as it truly can be. Uh, in fact, I recall the last time we did a test of this technology, I told one of my jokes, and I do have a few jokes today, and I appreciate if you laugh, uh, but when I told one of my jokes, I didn't hear any laughter whatsoever. And as an instructor, you like to get some feedback, some confirmation that your jokes are funny. Sometimes it's hard to know whether people are learning or not, but certainly the jokes is an instantaneous feedback. And I heard no laughter whatsoever. Then someone informed me that that's because everybody's mute button is on. So yeah, I we've got it on now. <laughs> <laughs> you heard us laugh now. And just before we go ahead, uh, Douglas, can you get somebody there to zoom in to you so we see your face? Now that we've established it's a KM Institute, we'd like you to go closer in. Yeah, yes. is that it? that's better. Thank you. They, they, ta they taught me the technology this morning. I have, uh, I have, I'm four button capable. And that was one of them. Anyway, where was I? Uh, so if I tell a joke, you have the liberty to reach over and depress your mute button so that I can get some <laughs> feedback. If I don't hear any laughs, I'll be reminding you of the same. <laughs> what, what we're going to do this morning, or this morning for me, this evening for you, is to go through a short session that we call Demystify KM. It's taken from some of the courses that we will be delivering live but virtual throughout India. Those courses are KM 101, that's KM Fundamentals, and KM 102, which are Advanced KM Fundamentals, and then a third course, which is called Personal KM. Those people within your organization that take 102 and 112, which is Personal KM, are able to receive a certification in called, which is called Knowledge Management Professional. So many of these slides in fact, most of these slides are drawn from those courses, so you'll get a little taste for those courses. I've already mentioned 
that in order to be a good session, it needs to be learner-focused, uh, that is interactive. And it will be my objective this, this evening for you to try to make it be that way. But uh, again, it's a learning experience for both of us. On the last time I took a trip to India, I was sitting next to three folks who were very pleasant at the outset of the flight, but you can imagine how long the flight is from the United States to India. And well into the flight, 10 or 12 hours in the air, the conversation, which had been very pleasant, began to become a little bit uh, argumentative. Uh, in fact, they began to argue about who belonged to the oldest profession. Usually there's a chuckle or two, but I'm not talking about that profession. <laughs> The first person said, I'm a doctor. In fact, I'm a surgeon. And surgery dates all the way back to when God took a rib from Adam to create Eve, the first surgical procedure. And the second one said, well, you know, that is a long time ago, but I'm an engineer. In fact, a civil engineer, and civil engineers build things. And civil engineering dates all the way back to when God created the heavens and the earth out of chaos. And the last one jumped up out of his seat and said, I'm a vendor. Who do you think created the chaos? No, ju no laughter. <laughs> <laughs> no laughter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you have your mute button depressed, you can wave your hand and say you uh, you appreciate it. The reason for that little story, obviously it's more of a joke than a story, is to set the stage for knowledge management. Many of you that think you know about knowledge management may have that knowledge just from a particular vendor or two. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with vendors. They provide fantastic products. But sometimes they don't have a deep understanding of what knowledge management is all about. In fact, many vendors that have been purely IT, information technology vendors, now claim to be knowledge management vendors, but they really haven't learned what knowledge management is. And when they sit across the desk from you and talk about knowledge management, it may be heavily biased towards IT. So for instance, you'll see a banner headline. We have the ultimate knowledge management system. But then you read all the copy that's in the rest of their document. And if you never see the word knowledge again, it'll give you some hint that they're attempting to ride the wave of knowledge management. And yet they haven't really turned their attention to it. This session this evening, and I have to keep reminding myself it's evening for you and morning for me. So sometimes I might slip and I apologize. This session this evening is a first shot at trying to demystify or to give some clarity to the concept of knowledge management. And in particular, on the PowerPoint slide, that's the, Darius, one, one back, please. Um, here are some of the topics we're going to be covering. In session one, we're going to define what knowledge management is, and we're going to take about this first hour to do it. And then we're going to have a 15-minute break and then come back for another about 45 minutes. And we're leaving 30 minutes at the tail end for questions and answers and wrap up. I can't be sure that I'm going to cover all the material in the, in the defined times, but my attempt during the first hour is to cover the concept of knowledge and clarify the difference between the information age and the knowledge age, define what knowledge is, and particularly two modern schools of thought, and then a first introduction to some depth about knowledge, which we call knowledge attributes. And then an introduction to knowledge processes. I hope to get all that done within an hour. And more than likely, I will be able to tap into a little bit of the session two material, just to make sure we get that section done, because that's only 45 minutes. In session two, we're going to define the KM end game. I don't know if you know what I mean by end game, but that's where it's heading. And we call that connect and collect. Then we'll take a poke at the KM rationale, because all of this is uh, for naught if there isn't a real purpose and rationale for doing it. And part of the rationale is to create the knowledge imperative.